All right, so now these are kind of rapid fire Q&A. Okay. And if anybody can do this, it's you because you're a great mind. All right. Thank you. All right. You can go out to dinner with any member of the St. Louis Blues. Who would it be? Colton Pareko. Where do you keep your Stanley Cup ring? My mom's underwear drawer. I have a check in my pocket for $50,000. Could I buy that ring for you? No. A hundred thousand? Nope. Um, what, no, with the exception of that Game 7 victory, what was your next favorite moment of that season last year? Parade. Describe the parade in a couple sentences. Best moment ever. <laughs> um, what's the percentage of times you now go to a restaurant where you're recognized? 97%. Do they often pick up the tab? At the beginning, yes. Now, sometimes. Like, give me an example of a place you've been where you've been recognized and they say, we have to take care of that bill. The shack. All the time? Yep. All right, let's play word association. I'll say the name, first thing that pops in your head. Colton Perico. Cute. Alexander Steen. Toothless. Ryan O'Reilly. Conn Smythe. Craig Berube. Chief. What, what really famous person recognized you and you were shocked? They knew who I am? Famous. Ooh. Ooh. Christina Grady, Lady Gaga's dancer. Wow. How about your meetings with John Hamm? Describe those. Biggest memory is at the parade when Brett Hall was, we all know, singing Gloria, and John Hamm said, stay away from Holy. <laughs> How did your life last year imitate the blues season? <clears throat> we were both tied together. We were both down in the darkest of dark, and then both came out, fought our battles, and we both won. Love it. Um, where did your courage come from? Why do you have so much? It's what my parents taught me. That's all I know of. Favorite show on Netflix? Stranger Things. Favorite band? Queen. Dream husband one day? Colton Pareko. <laughs> you went to Lady Gaga in Las Vegas. One to ten, how good was she? Eleven. Would you rather see Lady Gaga front row or the Blues front row in the Stanley Cup final? Blues. Favorite hockey player not on the Blues? Ooh, Pat Maroon. <laughs> well played. <laughs> yeah. What's going on through your mind when Donald Trump acknowledges you? Describe that from, a, from your perspective. Not only does St. Louis know who I am, but the President of the United States knows who I am, which, whoa. He's <laughs> a leader of the free world. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how about uh, dreams and goals for your life? And don't make it a short answer. What, what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do one day? I want to be a pediatric brain surgeon. I want to go to Yale, and I want to be something big later in life. And then explain why you want to be a pediatric brain surgeon. I'm very interested in medical things. I always have been ever since I was really little. And then after I got a brain biopsy and realized uh, how much it, you know, it sucked, uh, I just wanted to help as many other people as I can. So that's even more of a reason I need to be a pediatric brain surgeon. Describe your emotions the first day you walked back into that school. Oh my gosh, they're all my friends. How, how gratifying, how cool was that? Just to know that they still all loved me and cared for me for who I am and not for all the things I've been invited to and all the things I've done, but just to love me for who I am just was amazing. Yeah. Um, you must be plenty smart if you miss two grades and you just pick up where you left off. You miss fourth and fifth, basically, right? Basically only two months of each grade. And what are your grades like now in sixth grade? 
all A's and B's. All right, finally, you kind of sum up the last year of Layla's life. Okay, the last year. Uh, well, I got my bone marrow transplant, which was incredible. I was back to myself for the most part, back in school. My favorite hockey team just won the Stanley Cup. Life was great. 